Today, the president's attorney, Will Consovoy, appealed to the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals a judgment that was rendered yesterday by D.C. federal district judge Amit Mehta. Uh, Will Consovoy had gone to Judge Mehta asking for a temporary injunction blocking a subpoena of Mazars USA, that is the Trump Organization's accounting firm. The subpoena was asking for all kinds of financial information. In denying the temporary injunction, Judge Mehta wrote yesterday, quote, it is simply not fathomable that a constitution that grants Congress the power to remove a president for reasons including criminal behavior behavior would deny Congress the power to investigate him for unlawful conduct, past or present, even without formally opening an impeachment inquiry. President Trump and his son Eric, who runs the Trump Organization, say the request is way out of bounds because it requests financial information on every company the president is, is involved in and seeks the financial information of all of his children as well. Here's the president's reaction to the ruling. Well, we disagree with that ruling. It's crazy because uh, you look at it, th this never happened to any other president. They're trying to get a redo. They're trying to get what we used to call in school a do-over. It's totally the wrong decision by, obviously, an Obama-appointed judge. But the committee chairman, Elijah Cummings, is buoyed by the ruling in a statement saying, quote, the court recognized the basic but crucial fact that Congress has authority to conduct investigations as part of our core function under the Constitution. We urge the president to stop engaging in this unprecedented cover up and start complying to the law. The president, as I said, has appealed to the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, where it just so happens the chief judge is Merrick Garland, who you remember was blocked by Republicans in his nomination to the Supreme Court by President Obama in his final year in office. It's not to say that Judge Garland would ever rule based on anything political, but it just shows how small a town the nation's capital really is.